Hello everyone and thank you much for watching. This is me Mr. P and this is another episode in a proximal home server series. In this video I will show you how you can self-host Uptime Kuma. Uptime Kuma is an easy to use self-hosted monitoring tool that you can run inside a Docker container. Uptime Kuma will keep an eye on your services like for example you can specify the IP address or domain or local host domain and it's just going to keep an eye on that service on that domain and will notify you as soon as that device or this uh, IP address machine or domain is down so we'll get notification and for notification service I'm going to use Gotify so let's start setting everything up I do have my Proxmox uh, instant running here and 102 I VM 102 is my Docker containers and inside there I have a bunch of containers plus Portainer agent that helps me to monitor and basically set everything up. So I am logged in in the Portainer agent dashboard. I'll click on the dashboard stack and this is the couple of containers that are running right now. So I have a Dashi, I have file browser, I have Gotify which we're going to use to send notifications. I already done a video about the Gotify. I'll leave a link to that video description below and the card will pop up on the screen now. I have a Plex and Portainer. So let's start setting this up. I'm going to click in on add stack. Give it a name. So we're going to be uptime-kuma-yt and I'll copy the docker compose file. So paste that in. This is the file that I'm using on my main Proxmox. So I'm just going to reuse the same syntax. It's just going to change probably a couple of things. So the docker compose file will send instructions to that to create a service by that we're going to use uptime kuma image we're going to use official uptime kuma image and i'm not specifying any tags at the end that means i want the latest version container name will be uptime kuma dash yt volume is going to be inside home mr p docker and uptime kuma so i need to make sure that this folder is created so we'll jump back inside the proxmox click on the vm that is responsible for my docker containers click on a console and now if i'm going to go full screen i'm just going to check what i have here so inside the log folder home mr p docker i have a couple of folders i have dashi file browser gotify plex and portainer so i need to create another folder uptime kuma and now if i list this i do have uptime kuma folder created you just need to make sure that you specify the correct path to the location where you want uptime kuma config files to be stored so if everything is fine i'm just going to change the directory to uptime kuma pwd and home mr p docker uptime kuma and just go back to portainer home mr p docker uptime kuma so that matches the port is 3001 outside and 3000 in one inside the container i will right click on the containers new tab just make sure that i don't have any containers running with 3001 port uh, open on the left hand side i have 8080 4433 8081 and 9000 so i don't have 3001 in use so that means that this port is free for me to use for optim kuma and restart policy is always that means that once the vm restarts or this container restarts it just always needs to be up and running so everything looks okay use uh, the uh, stack name is provided container name is provided path is selected i have image everything is fine so i'm going to click deploy the stack if everything is fine i should will get the green message saying stack successfully deployed and now if i'm going to click on the where are you here we go uptime kuma it's going to tell me that the container is starting i think it's going to give me a bunch of information that i don't see any errors that sh means it's all good go back to containers and now on the right hand side i'm going to click on 3001 and here we are we are inside the uptime kuma setup so username is going to be mr p i'm just going to enter quite simple password for this demo and create i know i don't want to remember that and never so this is the uptime kuma dashboard on the left hand side is going to be a list of all the stuff you, you're adding to monitor and let's go and start setting it up, up if i click on a user and click on the settings there's a bunch of other settings you can change you can change the server time zone do you want to change this somewhere here appearance you can change from light to dark i'm going to leave as a dark mode notifications so this is where we're going to start setting up notifications i will set this up as soon as i'm going to start creating monitoring there's a bunch of other stuff you can create tags history you can link the docker to monitor the docker containers within security api backup you can back up and export the the settings so let's go and start setting up the monitoring system i'm going to click on add new monitor and let's pick one up let's say chasm 
So Chasm runs on one two two IP address just to double check. I'm gonna quickly make sure that this one one two two. So it's one nine two one six eight one seven eight one two two. I want to monitor. I want to monitor this um, VM and make sure that it's always up. And if it's not, I will get a notification. So inside Uptime Kuma, I can choose a lot of monitoring times as you can see here. I can go MQTT. MySQL, DNS, I'm just going to go through all this list and just going to change, choose ping because I want to just ping this IP address and as soon as ping is fails, I know it's not working. So it's going to be chasm-yt VM. By the way, there is a video published on my channel how to set up chasm. Chasm is an amazing service where you can uh, create a workspaces. Pretty much it's like a stream containerized apps and desktops. It's quite useful. So I suggest to watch this video if you want to set this up. Host name is going to be IP address of that virtual machine. Heartbeat 60 seconds. Um, if you want to ping every 60 seconds or, or you can do every 30 seconds, I think the lowest one you can go 20. So I'm going to just go and say 30 seconds. How many retries before it's been marked as down? So one is fine for ping. Heartbeat interval. Upside down mode, it means that if it fails, it's good. That's, for example, say you have, um, let's say, a smart door um, lock or something. So when lock is active, means door is uh, is closed, and when is deactive, is is shut. Either way, like you can set up that, flip the status upside down. I, on some of the services, quite useful. Uh, do I need a tag though? Monitoring group, you can create a group here, so you can have, for example. Uh, clients by clients IDs and etc. You can set this up. Let's say for example say a uh, social media platforms and you have like a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter or X at this moment like Reddit or something. So this is all set up. I'm gonna click save and now straight away as soon as press save the app time Kuma sends the first ping and here we go and I'm starting to get the notifications back. So it says a green color here that means it's up. You when it's red uh, one, one of these uh, lines is red, it means it's down, and when it's orange, it means it's struggling to get notification, but still not marking the service as, as completing da completely down. Uptime, 24 hours and 30 hours, sorry, 24 hours and 30 days, so 100% so far. That's good, but we have, well, we just started to monitor. At, below there is a graph, you can change from recent all the way to one week's uh, history, and then there's going to be a list of stuff, when and what happened. So this is right now is up and running. So I'm just going to actually drag this out, do like this. So right now Uptime Kuma is monitoring the service. I'm going to go on the right hand side. I'm going to just start, type shutdown, press enter. So I'm shutting down this VM. So Uptime Kuma every 30 seconds sending a ping message. I am checking if the service is up and running. So right now up to the Chasm, Chasm Virtual Machine 105 is shutting down. As you can see, it's getting the notification that it's off, that's it. So 105 is off, so 122 IP address is offline. So Chasm will detect that it's offline and will start basically showing the red color, saying that it's down. So let's wait for that to, to just happen every 30 seconds. And here we are, we get the message saying pending. So uptime Kuma uh, notice that there's something wrong, so he's doing a, another check or two. And once it definitely knows that, look, it's, it's 100% the pings are failing, uh, the color will change into red. And red means obviously offline. So let's wait for a second or so for this to happen. And here we are. Uptime Kuma detected that this down. It gives me a, a like overlay card saying 10 packet transferred, zero received. So it's 100% packet loss. And that's it. This service right now is marked as offline. And this is can be seen in a graph. And obviously the list of uh, stuff has happened. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just go back into uh, Proxmox, Proxmox setup, and we're just going to go and, come on, and we're going to start this VM. So one, two, two, just going to click start. So uptime Kuma right now will start detecting straight away that this is actually up, and that's it, and the, the, the checking will continue. So it was up for, let's say, three time, three checks up, then was pending, then it's definitely down, then it's up again. So it's great, but then you want to monitor all this and you have to, you you must have this let's say, page open all the time just to keep an eye on it. So you would like to get notifications. In one of the, my previous videos, I gave you a demo how to set up Gotify. And Gotify will send you a ping notifications as soon as something is sprung. So we'll go quickly into a Gotify 
dashboard. So click on this. Username is admin and admin. I haven't changed that since I set this up. So I have this go to file. Like I said, I've already done a video how to set this up. I'm going to click on apps. So, so far I have just the one ZFS scrub. This is from the tutorial video. I'm going to click create application. Give it a name. I'm just going to call it uptime Kuma and click create. So uptime Kuma application created and I do have the uh, token. So I'm just going to copy the token. Go into uptime Kuma setup. Click on the, I can click on the any services and click setup notification or I can go via settings and click set up notification but I just like to do this from here because it's going to save straight away as an active notification for this monitoring service and from notifications list you have a bunch of stuff you can select you can have a gotify that's why we're going to home assistant discord you can have a ntfy there is somewhere signal showing up the telegram twilio it's a bunch a bunch of that push bullet it works as well quite nicely I've been using push bullet for quite a while until I discovered the gotify so I'm going to click on Gotify, give it a name. So I'm going to just delete this and just say Gotify application token. So we're going to paste the application token here and server address. So we need to go to Gotify, copy all that URL, paste that in and just make sure that it's like that. Priority is eight. Yeah, I'm just going to move that to one and default enabled. This notification will be enabled by default for new monitoring. So if you're going to use Gotify across the board, you just switch that on and it's just going to be to automatically turned on for every new monitoring destinations you will add and apply on all existing monitors. So if you have a 10 or 12 and you're just setting this up now, it's just going to automatically apply to all of them. If I click test and click on a Gotify, uh, Uptime Kuma, as you can see, Uptime Kuma, Gotify test, successfully happened six, seven, eight seconds ago. I'm just going to click save. So that's it. That's in. So Chasm is still running fine, 78% uptime. So what I'm going to do now is just I'm going to go and select the Chasm VM again, log into that VM and shut that VM down. And now inside Gotify, we're going to get another message saying that uh, this VM is down. So right now it's shutting down. Let's see how Proxmox performing. Uh, it's actually, yeah, it's, it's going down. So refresh. The the message will show up automatically. I just I'm patient. I just want to quickly get that up and running. Come on. So test happened 50 seconds ago. So let's wait when the message will show up. What's Uptime Kuma saying? Uptime Kuma still believes that the service is up and running. That's why GoToFi haven't received any notifications. As soon as no Uptime Kuma uh, decides that the service is offline as you can see right now it's pending so after another 30 seconds it will mark this service as offline and gotify message will be sent straight away in my previous video about gotify setup i gave you a demo how to set up gotify android app so it's quite useful for me as i i am i, I own android phone so every time one of my services or one of the monitoring um clients or destinations goes offline my phone receives a ping notification so i know that this is that i need to go and basically check why suddenly something is offline so this is going to happen in a minute now or any second this is going to go from orange to red and once that in i'll get the message here we go uptime kuma ping one two two failed and 10 packets so we sent exactly the same message as this one here as you just saw a second ago all this information getting sent by Gotify and like I said if you have Gotify Android app setup done you'll get this notification notification straight away so let's go and set up the or start the VM again so this is starting and as soon as VM detected this is up which up to Kuma will do any second Gotify should receive a message saying chasm YT VM is up so here we are I have a no the uptime Kuma service running inside my Proxmox home server that checks that will check all the IP addresses that it will add. Uh, let's say if you have a smart TV, obviously TV will have some sort of IP address. Even if you have like a smart washing machine or dishwasher uh, that is connected to your home network, it will have the IP address. So you can add the washing machine IP address here and monitor if your washing machine is offline or online or like a fridge. For example, if a fridge dies, you don't want that all the food inside the fridge gets spoiled. So it'll get straight to a notification if something is wrong. With HTTP and HTTPS, for example, I can put HTTP. Uh, friendly name let's say reddit.com 
Some of the services that you add as HTTPS, I suggest to tick this, ignore TLS. Sometimes it's, it struggles to accept the TLS certificates, so just punch, punch that in and it will just ignore the TLS certificates and always will monitor. Sometimes if they struggles to monitor the service with TLS certificates, it's always going to mark as an offline. That's it. Uh, let's do this 60 seconds. So Reddit, 60 seconds, do, 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 do. save. That's it. Now our Reddit website is getting monitored. And as soon as reddit.com goes down, I will get a notification via Gotify as I selected Gotify to be my default notification service. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't please consider subscribing to my channel or just at least click uh, the like button. And uh, I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.